Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and in this pouch we have a gigantic on guard padlock. It's a bike lock. Um, I'm not entirely sure why the shackle is quite so deep. Maybe it's just to directly lock um, the wheels of a motorbike, or maybe add a chain. Some of you who actually know more about motorcycles than I do, please let me know in the comments. But it is massive, and it reminds me of the smaller uh, on guard beast padlock, which is almost exactly like that um, but with an extra two inches on the end it also comes with a huge amount of keys which are odd because they look like the Milenico brand I don't know um, but they do come with one of these special keys which has a little um, torch light on which is I guess fun um, it's got a very very long shackle look at that and it sort of uh, slides in ball bearing mechanism it's, it's pretty cool overall, but if you look at the key tip, something odd is going on there, and this odd thing stopped me from picking this lock for a bit. So, this is the last position, and there is a disc here which you can tension off, so you can re-tension this lock. Then you've got this weird sort of split cut here. Now, this groove, I think, aligns with a wafer I've been told um, on the inside of the lock so you have to push in a tool like this disc turner to sort of set the wafer and turn the disc pack slightly if you don't then none of the discs turn it effectively blocks the discs from turning you can't tension nor pick the discs if you do so you have to sort of set this wafer first by sticking in a tool giving a wiggle and sort of turning it and then inserting your pick tool and then you can pick it. Then you actually have your cuts on the key here and I believe that you've got um, a disc here, one, two, three, four, five. But this here is the cut for disc six. So it's very, very, um, very, very interesting lock. So you've got, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, or was it one, two, three, four, five? Actually, it might be one, two, three, four, five. I don't know if you can front tension on this. Either way, we'll look, we'll stick it in a in vice, we'll have a go. But um, yeah, this cut there, that partial cut actually does manipulate a disc on the inside. So this uh, is actually something you have to pick this position here. Right, let's vice up and we'll pick it. So we're in the vice, pop the key in. There we go, turn it all the way around. It works as long as slide the bolt out. And we're gonna pop that back in and lock it back up. There we go, so that's the, uh, the flashlight key thing. Um, now we can't put the tension, well the turning tool in or tension in or turn the disc or anything. This is a, uh, um, a silver bullet pick. I'm gonna use this because it's got these nice fine markings on which don't quite align with the spacing of the discs, but it's close enough that it helps me understand which disc I'm on. Um, and like I said, you can't just pop the tension tool in. It won't go to the back, it won't tension anything, none of the discs will turn, it's really strange. You've got to go in with a tool, I'm just choosing this disc turner I made, to go in and push, and it, hear that? It sort of clicks in. And then once it's sort of clicked in, you can turn the, this pack a little bit and it goes about what 20 degrees um, but what's interesting is you you've sort of got to get this bit right so if you don't then um, you might find you pick all the discs and it still doesn't open it's it's a bit strange so it needs a sort of a good wiggle now let's put the turning tool in and that should go in there you go to the back There you go, and turn. So we should be able to get that last disc. I think we're on it. See, it's turning quite a long way. So it's not there, it's got to get this 100% right. So it's, um, you, you can put it in a couple of positions but some of them won't work and it's going to be the one which is right at the the back so I think there because if I've got move forwards another position it just sort of it doesn't quite bind it feels weird and turns around so it must be 
um, this position here. There. I think that's about right. Okay, good. Now, because we are tensioning at the rear, it tends to bind from the rear forwards. So let's um, go to the back and feel where we are. So just need to find a gate that feels right. It doesn't have to be a true a, a true gate. We just have to find something which feels it's this sort of binding. It's a false gate, false gate. It doesn't want to turn much more than that. So I'm going to sort of leave that alone. Come back out to the next disc. And that doesn't want to turn any further than there. So I, maybe that's a true gate. Then disc four feels good. That felt like disc one, I missed disc two. Where's disc two? Oh, about there, okay. And then the last disc is here. And it's not opening when you feel it's open. Um, you can sort of give it a, a little wriggle and see if you can't convince that last disc to, to bind properly. It's, it's very strange, this lock. Sometimes it opens, sometimes it doesn't. So um, let's go back through now. That feels good. So on disc four, that feels really good. Disc three feels, oh, I think I'm gonna think we've got an open. Yep, finally. That's really weird. And there you go, we've got, we've got the open. It's a very strange lock. It 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 just is a bit inconsistent to pick. It's the only way to describe it. It feels like sometimes you get the tension prop um, and, and, and it, and it feels all good and you get everything in what you think is the gate and then it still won't open. So that's what I did. I sort of turned the tension back a bit to see whether just getting back on that last disc, I don't know if I'm offsetting the last disc slightly or not putting that uh, the disc in its true gate. I don't know, but um, yeah, anyway, it works really well. We've opened up the lock. I think I can even withdraw the whole tool now. Eventually. You got to somehow sometimes set the discs back a bit in the lock to allow the tension tips to come out, but there we go. So that was this gigantic on guard padlock. Unfortunately, there's no way that I can see to disassemble this, so we won't be able to have a look inside at the discs. There's certainly some false gates on um, some of the discs, although I was surprised about how quickly some of the um, uh, other discs. So I think one and five had false gates. The other ones didn't. I couldn't feel anything. They all just seemed to turn to their natural um, uh, gate position. Although, as you saw, it was a bit of a fiddle trying to 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 just get the whole thing to turn. I felt it was picked. It just wouldn't go. And sometimes these disc locks seem to be a bit like that. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It really helps my channel out. If you have a comment, leave one below. I do read them all and I reply to as many as I can. And of course, I'll see you all next time.